गाइज वेलकम बैक टू कोडिंग सो गाइज आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट एंड हैविंग अ लवली टाइम एंड एंजॉइंग ईच एंड एवरी कंटेंट एट एम पोस्टिंग फॉर यू एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ईच एंड एवरी कंसेप्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वट वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट एट वॉट इज एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वॉट डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम वॉट इज द फीचर्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड वॉट आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट फंक्शन ऑफ एन ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम एंड टू दिस लेसन वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम आई एम गोइंग टू स्पीक बैट प्रोसेसिंग मल्टी प्रोग्रामिंग एंड द टाइम शेयरिंग ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम so now guys if you are new to my channel please do like it share subscribe to my channel already on my youtube channel i have posted content that are really useful for you and surely will save your time so guys if you are new to my channel please do like it share subscribe to my channel already you can get c c++ java python every free content all over here and also i am going to post some videos that are really useful for like interview perspective or other hacks also and you can check that for that short videos i've already posted one on the sunday so do check that video also so let's get started with the video without wasting any time and understand each and everything very clearly to so the very first thing that what you are going to talk about is the batch processing operating system now when i am talking about a batch you should understand by what do we mean by a batch basically batch means dividing the task about or thing into different different sub task or we can say different different batches like suppose say whenever you go into a coaching or something to see that the classes are divided in different different batch like evening batch morning batch and based upon the timing shift similarly batch processing operating system works in the similar way so in this in this similar types of jobs were batched together and executed at a time means all the types of similar jobs are were batched it together and executed at the same time the operator carried the task of forming the batch by organizing a set of user job in a sequence and inserting special marker cards to indicate the start and end of the batch now what does the operator do it will create all the jobs into a single batch and it will provide a start as well as the end to the batch in this technique of programming wants to execute a program he typed his program and data on a punch card and submit it as a job to the computer operator for its execution now what does the programmer do in this case he will type the program and get by type his program on the data on a punch card and will submit it to the computer operator for the further execution so it will provide to the computer operator now uh, let's take an example for example like fortran programs were grouped together in one batch like a bol language uh, computer, uh, program were divided into different batch so basically what we are doing in batch processing similar kinds of job like which are using the similar thing we are putting into a sim, uh, different job criteria and the other thing into a different job criteria means as soon as the first job will be completed the second job will be exit talk about the advantages and disadvantages of batch processing operating system now coming on to the very first thing that is the advantages number 1 more move much of the work of the operator for the computer means like most of the work will be uh, for the work of the operator then then the computer means operator will be provided the provide the work to the desired computer move move much of the work of the operator to the computer like all the tasks that the operator had to do had to be converted to the computer next increased performance is it was possible for the job to start as soon as the previous job finished like how it will increase performance as soon as the previous job will be completed the new job will be started so because it has a start and end means jaise hi hamare paas previous job jo present thi wo end hogi as soon as that the next job will be started now what are the disadvantages of batch processing operating system number 1 a job could corrupt the monitor thus affecting pending jobs like if i say like i am doing the operating system performing a single job now suppose say that job gets corrupted so what it will do it will corrupt all the remaining things and will not able to let us perform the other job means kya hua ki agar ek job bhi kharab hui to uske se kya hoga baki jobs bhi kya ho jayegi pending job se kya wo effect hogi aur wo hum perform nahi kar payenge next very time consuming it is very time consuming process because all the job have different different patches third due to lack of protection scheme one bad job can affect the pending job like we ha don't have had much protection scheme so because of one job getting affected the pending jobs could also be getting affected so these are some of the advantages and disadvantage of a batch processing operating system now let's move to the next type of operating system that is a multi programming operating system so guys if you are loving the content and understanding each and everything very clearly because i try to help you with the pictures also and everything that you get to know each and everything so please do like it subscribe to my channel so that you get every content and also some videos that will really help you 
just to give a quick revision before the exam or everything and make you clear that concept second time of operating system that we have is a multi programming operating system when two or more programs in a memory at the same time share the processor or that it is referred to as multi programming operating system now when we are saying that two or more programs in the memory are sharing the same time sharing the processes called referred to as multi program it increases cpu utilization by organizing jobs so that it always has to execute only one job having several programs in a memory at the same time requires some forms of memory management so basically multi programming what we are doing two or more programming in a memory are running at the same time and sharing the processor so that they can perform all the two things at a time so it will also enhance cpu utilization basically multi programming mein kya ho raha hai ki hum ek time pe ek se zyada programs ko work karwa pa rahe hain aur jisse cpu utilization bhi ho raha hai aur hum ek memory management ka kaam now coming to the advantages and disadvantages of multi programming number 1 throughput of the system is increased as cpu has to execute one job now whenever i have Uh, we are talking about the advantages of multi programming so the throughput speed of the system will increase whenever i want to perform only one job second response time of the system it gets reduced means the response time to take, execute that job will really get decrease you can also see on the right hand side what is the definition of throughput and how does the throughput work next we have the disadvantages many program may be ready to run simultaneously on the cpu which implies the need of some scheduling algorithm now i want that multiple program should run at the same time on my computer system so probably they will be requiring a scheduling algorithm next programs may have different sizes therefore memory needs to be partitioned in different sizes dynamically now some program may be very large some program may be very short so accordingly the memory needs to manage dynamically so that is also a major disadvantage of whenever i using a multi programming operating system. Now let's come to the next uh, type of operating system that is the time sharing operating system. In this type of operating system, the computer is switched among multiple programs given by different users on schedule basis. Means as I told you that is a time sharing basis, so we will be given a schedule basis. Thus each user is given a brief share of CPU called time slicing. Whenever we talk about that brief share of CPU is given, that is called as time slicing. It may vary from 10 milliseconds to 20 milliseconds. It is also called as time quantum. If the processor layer is larger and cannot be completed in time slice the execution of the process is terminated and placed at the rear end of the queue of processes waiting for execution so basically if the process is like really very large and we can see that there are some small processes we can which can be performed so what it will do it will just terminate their process and keep it at the last one in of the queue because it follow the queue like structure like which processes are really very small it will perform that and which are really very large it will keep at at the end of the queue and let it wait for the execution so for the example are like unix and linux types of operating system that we use they basically use time sharing operating system the next type of thing that we need to understand in time sharing operating system is the advantages and the disadvantages now coming to the advantages we have effective utilization and sharing of resources because whenever i'm using a time sharing operating system what do we have we have effective utilization of each and everything and we can also share the resources next reduce cpu idle time now how it will reduce the cpu idle time because as we told that the large processes will kept at the rear end so the small processes can work so what it will do it will just keep on executing the small and small processes which will not let the cpu remain idle next reduces response time so as we are making the processes work really very faster so it will also reduce the response time next users can interact with program now when a user the other program is not working so what we can do they can uh, do the task with the program that are already been executed now coming to the disadvantages security and integrity issue due to memory now we will have a security and integrity issue because of memory because we said that large program will take a uh, other space and the smaller program will work already so it will have some uh, issue with the memory so that's why it is a issue when i am talking about the disadvantages transmission rate is decreased by transmission rate is increased because i want to make that termination of the program and want to execute the other program so in this way the transmission also gets increase so basically when we are talking about the memory we also need to understand that cpu processing to the memory and memory to the cpu is called as context switching this is also called as swapping 
so you need to keep this point in mind so till now we have discussed about the three types of operating system that we uh, understood like the batch processing operating system multi programming and the time sharing operating system while dividing this videos uh, into different different types of operating system so that it easy for you and or not all the operating system just at once so that it gets messy for you that which operating system was doing which which task and which operating system was doing which task so just to make you more clear and clearly about it i have made this content divided in like we will learn each and operating system within different different part so guys i hope you must be clear about each and everything that i have explained to you with the help of examples also if you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section and also post your valuable feedback thank you so much for watching keep smiling and take care and have a lovely day